Hey, it's Sharon. Today we're doing a full body workout. We'll be concentrating on balancing exercises and isolation exercises. Grab some light to moderate weights, but if you don't have any weights, grab some water bottles or no weights at all will do. Grab a mat or have a soft surface to work out on. Let's get started. Thank you for coming to work out with me today. Welcome back to the community of fitness enthusiasts. And if you're here for the first time, welcome also. So like I said at the beginning, we're doing a full body workout. We're gonna be doing balancing exercises and isolation muscle group exercises. And what that means is we'll be standing on one leg or we'll be just using one arm in an exercise. So we'll be doing three rounds, 30 seconds each exercise before we move on to the next one. If you want, grab a chair. There will be some balancing exercise that you might want to hold on to that. So hit pause, grab a chair. And other than that, we're going to get started. And I'll tell you a little bit more why we're doing balancing and isolation as we do our warm up. But before we start, do me a big favor and give us a thumbs up at the end of this video. Remember to subscribe. It helps us on the YouTube channel to grow this community of fitness enthusiasts. Feel free to look at my website. I have a lot of useful information on there along with some blogs and hit the notification bell and you'll be alerted when more videos are posted. All right, let's get started. We're going to march first so this way I can talk to you a little bit more. So we're going to march to place. So balancing. Balancing is so important, especially as we get older. It helps our improve our posture, helps prevent injuries, and it helps also have um, help us with our joints. I'll tell you a little bit more as we go along. So if you're here to get leaner, stronger, build stamina, then you've come to the right place. I've been a personal trainer for over 12 years. Let's do some arm stretches back. And I want to share my passion of um, fitness with you. Also, I started this channel for targeting women 40 and over. My workouts are for 40, women 40 over, but we do modifications in proper form, so they're good for any age group or fitness level. Let's go back and forth. We want to do warm-ups to warm up our body. You know, people that have been following me, that's so important to me. Warm up before you exercise and cool down with stretches at the end. Let's do those big arm circles. Warm-ups help get the blood flowing to those muscles. Stretches at the end help stretch out those warm muscles that you just exercise. We're gonna do some windmills. Arms are out. You're gonna reach down to one side, come all the way up and down to the other. So proper form is keeping your head in alignment with your spine. So when you come back up, you want your head to stick straight with your spine. Have your shoulders back and have your chest out. And another important tip, make sure you're breathing through these exercises. All right, let's step back and forth a little bit more and then we'll get started. So like I said too, I have some light to moderate weights here. You don't need any weights. You'll just slow down your exercise, your, your rep when we're doing it. If you don't have any weights, if you have water bottles, that's great. If you have a jug of water, that's great too. But again, you can do these workouts without them. All right, let's take a deep breath up and come back down. I will show you each exercise before we start it with modifications. I'm really big about giving you modification in case you can't do the exercise the way that I show it. The first one is gonna be hinge forward. If you have that chair, grab that chair. So um, we're gonna hinge forward. I'm gonna grab a weight to balance. We're gonna come all the way up straight. My shoulders go back and I'm gonna come down and come up. I'm going to be really wobbly on this too. So grab your chair if you need to and you can use this as your stability, just lifting your legs up. That's the modification. I'm gonna grab a little bit heavier weight. I wanna use it as an anchor, but again, you can use no weight at all. So we're gonna do three rounds of this exercise, alternating our legs, practicing our balance. We're gonna put 30 seconds on the clock. Let's go. So I'm coming down, grabbing my foot into the floor and coming all the way back up. I like to grab my foot with my toes to the floor. So again, find that um, stability, we're creating imbalance, firing up that core. Come all the way up. And I'm gonna turn around this way. I'm falling over a little bit and one more. Oh, let's do one more, sorry. Okay, great. So we're gonna do this two more times. And if you think the weight was too much, drop it or grab a heavier weight if you want to. All right, take a deep breath. I'm gonna stay this, stay this way, this side. 30 seconds on the clock, let's go. 
So come down. As you can see, I'm taking my time, trying not to use momentum. <sighs> Balance that out, reaching all the way back with that foot. Again, if you're using a chair, just reach back with your leg. So you should feel that in your core as you're coming down. And you'll feel this on the back of your legs too. Just hinging forward, nice flat back. Keep the shoulders back, we're almost there. And one more. Great, got one more round to go. If you need to um, get a drink of water at every time, go ahead and pa hit pause when you need to. That's the beauty of working at home. Round three, 30 seconds on the clock. Let's go. Come down and up. So I'm right hand dominant. So I, sometimes I start my exercises on my left side because I tend to be weaker on my left side. So that is another benefit of working out using, I'm sorry, balancing exercises. You can work out a muscle that is weaker by doing these individual exercises on one leg or the other. And breathe, make sure you bring those shoulders up. Oops, that was fell. All right, we're done with that. Go ahead and grab a drink of water real quick. All right, we're moving on. We're gonna do back rows. I'm gonna grab a little bit heavier weight. We're gonna do single arm back rows. So I'm gonna get in a lunge position and I'm gonna lean forward slightly. I'm gonna put my hand on my quad to balance myself. I'm gonna bring that arm up all the way, drawing my elbow towards the ceiling, controlling it on the descent especially. So I don't wanna go like this because that's just dropping the weight and I'm not using my muscle. So it's gonna be up and down again, modification. You could stand up a little taller if it's a little bit hard on your back, but you're just gonna go up and down or use no weight at all. Three rounds on our right side first. All right, let's get in position. 30 seconds on the clock. Let's go. So come up and down, controlling. So that's the real key here. You're controlling that weight using your muscle. We're not going super fast or super slow. A one, two count up, a one, two count down. We're taxing out that muscle. So again, I'm a little stronger on my right side. We're almost there. When I go to my left, it might be a little bit more challenging. And one more. Great, drop that. So for example, let's say your left side is much weaker than your right. You could always use a different weight when you're doing these isolation moves. That's what's great about them. All right, round two coming up. Get in position. 30 seconds on the clock. Let's go. Up and down. Nice and slow. Squeeze that muscle. Think about your back. You're working this part of your back. Pull it up. Hold on to it. You should feel that right on the back of your shoulder. Those are your traps. Control and breathe through it. Feel that, think about that muscle. We're almost there. And one more. All right, third round coming up. All right, shake out those hands, get that arm going. So wait about 10 sec seconds. I mean, we're gonna do about 10 seconds in between or a little longer, but let the muscle recover. Think, and it's gonna get regenerated to do your third round. All right, are we ready? Let's get in position. 30 seconds on the clock, let's go. Up, all the way down. So notice my head, it's in alignment with my spine. We're all gonna have to look at each other at times, but try to bring that head right back and keep it in alignment with your spine. So I'm focusing on the floor ahead of me to keep my head back. And breathe through it. My shoulders are back, my chest is out, I'm not uh, hunched over. Keep going. We're almost there. And one more. Okay, we're going on to our left side now. Again, if you think you need a lighter weight, always start with the lighter weight. The first round, you can always up your weights as you go along. Okay, let's get on our left side. Get in position, 30 seconds on the clock. Let's go. Press up and down. Feel that control. Now, sometimes when you start getting fatigued, you might start going faster. I was working out with my friends the other day and I got finished before them because I was tired and I was just trying to get over, get the exercise over with. That's not a really good thing to do, but sometimes it happens. And um, I was aware of it, so I dropped my weight and got a lighter weight so I didn't have to feel so taxed. We're almost there. And one more. 
Great, round two coming up. Gonna shake out my arms. It happens to the best of us, so. Exercise is not about perfection, it's more about proper form and making sure you know what you're doing. Okay, we're on round two. Get in position and let's go. 30 seconds, up and down, controlling it. Bring that elbow up to that ceiling. Keep your head in alignment as much as you can. Control, are you breathing? Keep going. Squeeze that muscle. And we're almost there. And one more, great. Okay, we've got one more round to go. Shake out those arms. I don't know how you're feeling, but my left arm is definitely feeling fatigued now. I'm gonna shake it out a little bit. Get ready. Mind connecting with my muscle. Last round on this side. 30 seconds on the clock, let's go. Pull up and down. So some people say, gosh, I feel this in my arm. Yes, your arm is assisting the exercise. Your target is your back, but your arm is engaged also. And I want you to think about your core right now. Core exercises, ab exercises do not have to be on the mat. You are engaging your core right here. I can feel my core staying strong, helping me assist bringing up that arm. We're almost there. And one more, great. All right, that was three rounds. We're moving on. So we're gonna do a back lunge with an arm press. Let me show you the exercise before I choose my weight. I would definitely choose a lower weight or no weights at all really work on this exercise. So I'm gonna, let's start with our left. Since I, always, I said that before, we should start with the weaker side. So I'm gonna have my right hand on my, on my hip. I'm gonna come back and then I'm gonna press to the ceiling and come up and come down with that arm. So I'm pressing up and down. If you have shoulder issues, I would just bring your arm forward. Again, I, if you have shoulder issues too, don't use a weight, it'd probably be better. Okay, I'm gonna grab a lighter weight. Um, I think I'm gonna grab an eight, but we'll see, I might have to drop down. All right, so modification, you don't have to go all the way back either, you can just go here and press and come back this way. Again, modification would be come forward and down. All right, three rounds on our left arm. 30 seconds on the clock, let's go. So I'm pressing up and coming down. You do not have to put your hand on your hip if you don't want to. You can use your arm out as a balancing. We're working out our shoulders, our delts, and our back. And obviously our lower body too. Find what works for you, hand up to the side or on your hip. Nice and slow, we're almost there. Again, you're gonna feel that imbalance and one more, even stepping back. So now we're creating imbalance on our whole left side of our body. Take a deep breath. All right, let's go to round two. 30 seconds on the clock and let's go. So press up and come down. So like I said, if you had a weaker muscle, isolation muscle um, exercises are great for that. If you've had an injury too, you might only have to work out one side of your body for a while. That's what's great about them also. You can build strength instead of doing two, ex two arms at one time. Sometimes they assist each other. So isolation is a great way to work on those muscles. We're almost there and one more. We've got one more round. I'm gonna shake out my arm because it's tired already. All right, let's tackle that third round. 30 seconds on the clock, let's go. Press up and come down. Again, if you're coming forward, that is fine. You are still working your delts and your back. And if you're not doing the lunge, that's fine too. Then you're still working your shoulders and your delts. Press, control it. I'm tired and we're almost there. Whoops, I almost fell. And one more, great. All right, we're finished with three rounds on that one. We gotta do the other side. So we're going to our right arm. Same idea, and again, you could just step it back or forward. You can lunge it here, or you can do the full press. Take a deep breath, 30 seconds on the clock. Let's go, pressing up lunging, coming down. So you don't have to go down to um, low in a lunge if you have knee issues. 
Typically a lunge is at a 90 degree angle, but again, if this is how far you can go, that is absolutely fine. Just keep yourself in proper form. Chest is out, shoulders are back. I know I say that a lot, but we're almost there. Hopefully it's helpful. And one more. Two more rounds to go, shake it out and breathe. So you can tell I'm out of breath, but weight training gets a bad rap. It's as good as cardio. Your muscles recover for 48 hours. So you're burning calories as those muscles are recovering. Round two, 30 seconds on the clock. Let's go. Press and come down. All right, be mindful where your head's at. Have your gaze forward, whichever way you're going. You could take a peek at me but then bring it back, press, reach overhead. Control it on the descent, we're almost there. And one more. All right, we have one more round to go. Drop that weight if you like. Also hit pause if you need a little break and take a drink of water, always hydrate. I'm gonna do that after we finish this last round. Okay, let's put 30 seconds on the clock and go. Press, control. So as you go along in your rounds, you might find yourself becoming a little bit more stable. Uh, muscle memory comes into play. Your mind connects with that muscle and then begins to know what it's doing. I remember the first time I heard that, I go, what? But it does make sense especially once you start exercising. We're almost there. And one more. Okay, we're done with that. I'm gonna get a drink of water, and then we're moving on. All right, if you have your mat or a soft surface to work out, we're gonna go down to the mat now. All right, we're on the mat, but before we start, you know I've been doing this for a while. We've made over, I don't know, I think closing on 50 videos, and I don't do this alone. So I have partners, and I'm very grateful to them. Um, and I, the person behind the camera knows what he's doing, thank goodness, and I'm very grateful for that. So strings it all together, makes it look great, and directs me. Okay, so also about balance exercises. It's all about coordination too. As we get older, you know, sometimes we get a little bit uncoordinated and also it helps, um, I guess, more stable. So if you do track, practice these balance exercises while you're doing the dishes, stand on one foot. And also, have you ever ran for something, something suddenly happened and you have to go for it? Well, that's what would be great about balancing exercises so you don't go tumbling over. All right, we're gonna start on the mat. We're gonna do these V-sit legs. Oh, this is a hard one. If you have ankle weights, you can go grab them. I decided I didn't want to do that with this round. All right, so I'm going to be sitting back slightly. My fingers are towards my glutes. If you need to, you can put your arms the other way. I've had some questions about that. We're not engaging our triceps really on this one. So you're going this way, you engage your triceps a little bit more, but you can put your hands that way. So we're going to come up like this. My legs are going to be straight and all I'm going to do is switch my legs back and forth. Now, if um, it's too hard to sit up like that, you could sit up a little straighter and just do your knees if you'd like. That's all, that would be your modification. So we're gonna do this three times, 30 seconds each round. Ready, 30 seconds on the clock, straighten those legs if you like, and let's go. So switching. You're gonna feel that right here in your quads. We're gonna do this nice and slow. So while I'm sitting here, I don't wanna be hunched over, Make believe somebody's pulling you at the top of your head. Keep that head in alignment with your spine. Keep your chest out and your shoulders back. Bring those shoulder blades together. That will help bring your shoulders back. And breathe. We're almost there. And one more. Okay, so that is firing up your core along with doing the single leg exercises. I'm feeling it right down in my quads. Okay, are we ready for round two? Sit up straight, lean back slightly if you can, 30 seconds on the clock, let's go. So lift. Now again, you could just go like this if you need to, find what works for you. You're just doing a single leg motion and you're firing up your core. Sit up straight, put that chest out. I'm readjusting myself too, because this is tiring. My legs are burning and my core is burning. Take a break if you need to, and then go back right into it. Keep breathing, we're almost there. 
and one more. Great, round three coming up, shake it all out. Oh, those legs are burning up. Okay, round three. Get in position, 30 seconds on the clock. Let's go. Nice and slow. Control. So when you go slower, it actually is tougher versus doing a little cardio in this exercise. So if we did cardio on this, we would be out of breath. Right now we're feeling our muscles taxing. Sit up straight, hold on to that position. As you can see, my legs are getting tired, we're almost there. And one more, great. We are done with that, thank goodness. Okay, we're gonna do single arm chest press and a bridge. I'm gonna grab a weight, and I'm actually gonna grab two weights. So I'm gonna have a weight in each arm. We're gonna alternate our single arm chest press. So again, you could do this with no weights or with weights. I'm gonna demonstrate without weights. I'm, one, I'm gonna bring my right arm up and press it over my chest as I bring my core up and my glutes up. So I'll be here, I'm gonna press up, come all the way down, and then alternate with the other arm. The big key to chest press is try not to gravitate over your head, then you're really not working your chest muscles. No weights or weights, whichever works for you, and you could always go up or down your weights in the second and third round. 30 seconds on the clock, let's go. I'm gonna start with my left arm. Press and come down, control, press, lift those glutes up, use that core. So if you start seeing those weights over your face, push them over your chest. Lift as high as you can, bring up those glutes. I'm keeping my arms at a 90 degree angle. We're almost there. And one more, great. Whew. Take a break, sit up, take a breath, grab some water if you need to. We're going on to round two. All right, let's come back down. Get in position, 90 degrees. They are right, my arms are right next to my shoulders, so I don't want them forward or back. Too much strain on your rotator cuff. Okay, 30 seconds on the clock, let's go round two. I'm gonna start with my right this time. Press and come down. So this is a compound exercise. We're working your glutes, your abs, and targeting our chest. Nice and control. Don't let that weight just fly back down, control it coming down. Fire up that chest muscle and press. Keep your eyes at the ceiling other than take a peek at me if you need to. We're almost there. And one more. Okay, one more round to go. Again, sit up. Now, if you sit up too suddenly, I don't know about you, sometimes I get dizzy, so readjust re yourself. Take a deep breath. All right, last round to go. Come on down. Arms out, 30 seconds on the clock. Let's go, press. So when I come all the way down, I'm marrying my back to the mat. Push up, so it's almost a dead stop I'm starting from, and pushing up. Reach those glutes up, push them all the way up. Watch those weights, where they're going, or watch where your hands are going. So if you're using no weights at all, just go really slow. You'll definitely feel your arm motion. We're almost there. All right, great. We don't need our weights anymore. So let's put them over here. The next exercise might put, put some impingement on your shoulders. So those with shoulder issues, I'm gonna tell you to go back to either bridges or do crunches. So you can be here like this, do a crunch. I will show you a modification. These are a mo um, an advanced hip dip, but I will show you a modification on it. So I'm gonna be leaning on my right arm. We're gonna do 30 seconds on one side and 30 seconds on the other. I'm gonna bend my, left, um, my bottom leg and I'm gonna lift this leg and then I'm gonna dip my hip. It's a very small movement. If you don't wanna do it fully extended, you can come down on your elbow, have your um, legs stacked on top of each other, have a nice straight line down, and you can just come up and down like this. You can also hold onto the mat. So that would be another modification. All right, find which exercise works for you. Getting in position. Whoops, 30 seconds on the clock, let's go. So dipping and up. You can also just keep your leg on the ground if you want to. You're gonna feel this on your this wrist. So if you need to go down, that's absolutely fine. 
just doing a small movement. We're working our obliques. Those are on the side of your abs. Keep those shoulders back. Try not to tilt forward. Control it. Breathe. We're almost there. And one more, great. Shake out that hand. Got two more rounds to go. Sometimes I wear gloves and they have gloves that have um, wristbands on them. So if you have weak wrists, those are really great gloves to wear. Um, go to my blog and I have a link to them on Amazon if you want to um, get a pair of gloves. I actually meant to wear my gloves today, but I forgot. I like wearing gloves when I do weight training. All right, second round, get in position. Leg out, 30 seconds on the clock, and let's go. And little dips. Keep those shoulders back. If you get tired, go down to that elbow. Keep going. Breathing through it, keeping that chest out, shoulders back. We're almost there. And one more, great. Oh, one more on the side. My wrist is bothering me, so I'm debating to go down. I'm going to go down in this round. All right, so I'm going to be on my side. I'm going to have my knees bent. I might go back up. Choose which one works for you. 30 seconds on the clock, and let's go. So up and down. You're still working your obliques. Control it. I'm going to go back up and finish it up there. So when I first started training with a trainer, the first thing she had me do was do triceps pull downs on a um, rope. We're almost there and I couldn't move them. And one more. So I got gloves and they helped tremendously. They helped me get more stability in my wrist. So that's why I like to use, wear them. All right, I'm gonna take a quick drink before we go on the other side. All right, let's get in position. Again, choose which one works for you. You could be down or all the way up. Just make sure you have a nice straight line. And I'm gonna kick my water, so let me move back down. I've done that before. All right, round one, 30 seconds on the clock. Let's go, little dips. Keep those shoulders back. Control, you can even feel, feel your core. You can feel where this exercise is um, working. Right on that side, that left side. Breathe. Leave me a comment, I don't know about you. I'm definitely hot and sweaty right now. We're almost there. And one more, great. Come on down, shake that out. Oh, I might have to go down on this one the next round. Okay, round two coming up. You ready? Again, hit pause if you need to take a little longer. Make sure that arm is underneath your shoulder. 30 seconds on the clock. Get in position and let's go. Up, oh, I'm doing the wrong exercise. Funny. <laughs> two. I'm gonna move down, actually. That water's a little too close. All right, dip. All right, you should be feeling this in your leg too at this point. And also we did those leg exercises. Oh, keep going. Dip it, keep that shoulder back, chest out. We're almost there, keep that head in alignment. And one more. Great, we got one more round to go. I am definitely gonna do it on my, uh, again, do the same thing, go down and then halfway through, come back up. All right, get in position. Arm 90 degrees, again, right under your shoulders. Okay, stack those feet if you like. 30 seconds on the clock and let's go. So down and up. And breathe through it. Same concept, keep the shoulders back, chest out. Have your hand down if you need to. And I'm gonna come all the way up and tip it. Keep breathing. So definitely firing up that core. We're almost there. And one more, great. Let's stretch it out a little bit. I don't know about you. Definitely got tired from that one. 
Okay, we have one more exercise on the mat. We're gonna alternate hamstrings. If you have ankle weights, feel free to grab them on this one and put them on. So we're gonna bring one leg in and then we're gonna press it up and my leg should be about 90 degrees. I'm gonna come back in, switch to the other one. 30 seconds on the clock. Oh, modification, go to bridges if you don't wanna be on your arms. All right, 30 seconds on the clock, let's go. So bring my right leg in, press my foot to the ceiling, come back in, switch my legs. Your arms should be under your shoulders and you should have a nice flat back. So try not to arch your back, don't sag your back, keep your arms nice and straight and alternating. We're working the back of our legs, nice and slow. If you have ankle weights on there, just give added resistance to this exercise. Up and back. So you're also firing up your core and we're done. You're firing up your core, you're working your glutes and targeting those hamstrings. All right, take a deep breath. Round, ready for round two. Let's come back in position. Get those arms straight. My legs are about shoulder arm hip width apart. 30 seconds on the clock, let's go. So in with my right, press it up, come on down. In with my left, alternate. Nice and slow. If you're gonna feel that in your glutes, keep that core nice and strong. If you start getting tired, take a break. And lift. We're almost there. And one more on the side. Great, we have one more round to go. Stretch it out if you like. Take a deep breath. Let's get this done. 30 seconds on the clock. Let's go. Press up and alternate. So as soon as I brought that leg up, I felt like I was tilting. So definitely try to keep those hips square to the mat. So that's where that challenge is gonna come in with your core. Your core is gonna keep you nice and stable if you have it strong here and you won't tilt. Breathe. Keeping my head in alignment with my spine. Control it. We're almost there. And one more. Great, we're gonna head up, back up and do some more exercises standing. All right, we have six more exercises left. One is a repeat though on a, on a side. So the first one's gonna be bicep curls. Um, we're gonna do single leg. We're gonna try to balance on single leg. You're gonna do one at a time. So we're gonna do bicep, one, single arms, and then halfway through we'll switch our legs. If you need to, tap your foot to the ground. That's absolutely fine. If you're not using weights, you're just gonna go a little slower. You'll feel your arm, your bicep taxing out. Oh, choose your weight carefully because this one will definitely, will get some li little imbalance going, but use that core to keep you steady. All right, so it, I'm gonna bring up, I'm gonna stand on my left leg first and I'm gonna start with my right, um, right arm for my bicep curl. Let's put 30 seconds on the clock and go. So I'm curling up with my right. These are called hammer curls, going up with my left. Now try really hard to keep your shoulders square with me. So when you bring up one, try not to lean. And we're gonna switch our legs halfway through. Switch those legs, keep curling. Keep going. Feeling a little unsteady when you switch those legs. We're almost there. And one more, great. Drop those weights if you need to. Turn your arms in and out. Get them ready for second round. Again, you can stand Try to balance on a toe if it's too much to bring your leg up. All right, second round, 30 seconds on the clock. Let's go. Up, control, and down. Squeeze that bicep. Keep those shoulders back. Concentrate on standing on that leg. Grab your feet into the floor and switch those legs. Breathing through it. Be mindful where your head's at. We're almost there. And one more. We got one more round to go. I'm gonna drop those, shake those arms out. So if you go too fast on this, you're definitely gonna feel yourself starting to sway. So try to definitely go slower. All right, we're on our third round. 30 seconds on the clock. Let's go. Curl, squeeze that bicep. Mind to that muscle. going. 
How are your shoulders? Switch those legs. Are they back? Oops, almost fell over. Keeping it real. Keep going. We're almost there. And one more. All right, let's drop those weights. Grab that water if you need to. Okay, I'm gonna grab light weights on this one. Actually, I'm probably gonna grab my fives. We're going to do a front lunge to a shoulder lift. So we're gonna lift up to our shoulders right here. Again, if you have shoulder issues, you can just don't use weights and just modify, not come all the way up. So I'm gonna come out with my front leg. So this is the single leg. Um, exercise, I'm gonna come back down. We're just gonna switch our legs. So I'm gonna grab my five pounds three times around, 30 seconds. And you don't have to lunge out as far if you, if you can't do a full lunge. So again, remember I said just come out here if you want to, or modify your arms if you have shoulder issues. 30 seconds on the clock, let's go. So lift right at shoulder height, bring them back down. I'm doing a little twisting motion as I come back down, engaging those arms. Definitely pick, um, choose the right weight. These will come heavy as we go through the rounds. You could drop the weights at any time and still do the, do the exercise. You'll still feel it in your arms. Nice and slow. Keep those shoulders back. We're almost there. And one more. Great. Dropping them. Shake out those arms. Second round coming up. Shake them out. Okay, second round, 30 seconds on the clock. Let's go. Lift, twist, drive the shoulder blades together. Keep the head gazing forward when you can. Keep your toes going forward. Try to make sure they're not pointing outwards. Lots to remember when you exercise. Come on up and keep going. Got a lot of feedback on people that do exercise, we're almost there, um, that have told me they've appreciated hearing about proper alignment. Sometimes you don't learn that. You just, especially if you're watching videos, you might not always get that, or you're taking clips off the internet or on Instagram. It's really good to know about how to do an exercise properly so you prevent injuries. Third round, 30 seconds on the clock. I'm starting with my left foot this time. Let's go. And again, if you have knee issues, don't go down as far. Oh, my arms are tired. How about you? Lift. So they're fatiguing. I'm not in pain, so I'm not dropping them. I'm just fatiguing them out. Weight training's about fatigue, not pain. We're almost there. And one more. Great, we're done with that. Let's put those down and shake out those arms. All right, so if you have a chair, grab that chair. We're gonna be doing um, legs lifts backwards, straight leg lifts backwards. So hold onto a chair if you want to. You're gonna lift your legs like this. If you have ankle weights, put those on. If you don't wanna use a chair, which I'm gonna do, I'm gonna balance. So I'm gonna here, switch my legs and switch. And I'm gonna grab a weight to give me a little bit more resistance. So we're gonna do this three times around, 30 seconds on the clock, find which one that works for you and let's go. So I'm just using a weight to add a little bit more resistance. Nice and slow, find your balance, come back up. And breathe through it. I'm gonna turn this way and up. Lift, keep those shoulders back. Again, you do not have to use a weight. actually helping me keep my center of gravity a little bit. We're almost there, whoops. I should have said that, one more. So I um, started falling over as soon as I said that. Isn't it true, you say, oh, don't fall over, and then you start getting that um, imbalance going. All right, second round coming up. Sometimes it's easier the second round, 30 seconds on the clock, and let's go. So lifting my right leg, balancing on my left, and switch it. Again, keep that head in alignment with your spine. So as you come down, keep your head right in alignment with your spine. Keeping my arms nice and straight. Oh, almost fell over. And keep going. Again, grab that chair if you need to. That is no problem. We're almost there. And one more, great. 
round three coming up. Again, you don't have to use a weight. You could just balance using your arms if you need to. All right, then we only have two more exercises to go. One is a repeat though on the other side. All right, 30 seconds on the clock. Let's get this done. Grab that foot in the floor. Feel that core, so use that core. As soon as you start feeling a little wiggly, engage that core. You can feel this on the back of your legs, up to your glutes. Be mindful where your feet are, I'm making sure my feet are pointing the direction of my body. So I don't want my toes pointed in opposite directions. We're almost there. And one more. All right, let's drop that. So our next exercise is gonna be triceps. We've hit every body part, so we, we're getting on to our triceps now. So our triceps are on the back of your arm. Everybody likes that when they're waving, to have good triceps. So triceps are three muscles. There's other little muscles in there, but they're three muscles on your back of your arm, and they tend to be the weakest. So once you stop treating your triceps, they tend to go away. So don't ignore your triceps. I'm gonna take a light weight, definitely a light weight or no weight at all. I'm gonna have my arm over my head and bend my elbow. So I'm touching my back or coming close to my back if you can. We're gonna, um, so I'm gonna have a weight here. I'm gonna go up and down, up and down. I like to brace it with my other hand. So you wanna try to brace it. You want this part not to move. All right, so grab a light weight. I'm gonna grab a five on this round and probably go to an eight on the second round, but we'll see. All right, so 30 seconds, three times on this side, 30 seconds, three times the other side. Actually, I'm gonna start with my left arm first. And I will turn around so you can see the motion that way too. All right, 30 seconds on the clock, bring your arm up, bend it down, and let's go. Bring it up and down. Turn this way, down. So I'm not moving this part, I'm bracing it with this arm. Control it. Now put a slight bend in your knees, help protect your back. Keep those shoulders back. So as this goes on, it's gonna get more tiring. We're almost there. And one more. So keeping a slight bend in your knees helps protect your lower back. If you did this exercise standing up straight, which I want you all to try, you're gonna feel more pressure right here. As soon as you bend those, le those knees, you'll feel less pressure on your lower back. Our backs are the one thing that we tend to injure when we're exercising. I'm gonna try this with an eight. You can always drop it. All right, 30 seconds on the clock. Let's go, down and up. Bend those knees, keep those shoulders back. Control. Press it away. Definitely feeling that fatigue coming on. Again, stop if you need to, take a little break and go right back into it. So this exercise is one that you'll tend to find you're gonna fatigue out quicker. We're almost there, thank goodness. And one more. Press. Okay, shake that out, we got one more round. I might have to switch halfway through, so that, and that's absolutely fine. If you can't make it to the 30 seconds, that's fine too. Typically in an exercise, you do 10, rep, 10 reps. We're doing about 12 reps, so do a little bit more than you normally would do in a regular exercise. All right, last round, 30 seconds on the clock, and let's go. Bend those knees. Keep those shoulders back, nice and controlled. How you doing? This is hard. Definitely gonna fatigue. Again, if you can't get that full extension, switch the weight or drop the weight. Keep breathing, we're almost there. Home stretch, then we got the other side, and one more. All right, I'm gonna start with my right, right arm now with five pound weight. We're gonna do 30 seconds three times around. Again, vary the weight if you want to. Just try going heavier or lighter. That just taxes your muscle and make, helps your muscles get stronger. If you are using no weight at all, you're just gonna go a little slower and squeeze that tricep. I promise it, you, you'll still feel it in the back of your tricep. All right, 30 seconds on the clock, let's go. So down and up to find out where to put my um, hand so you can still see me. So have that bend in your knees, reaching back, Come down and press all the way up to the ceiling. 
Keep going. Nice and controlled. Where are your feet? Make sure they're forward. Brace that back with those knees. We're almost there. And one more. All right, shake out that arm. I'm gonna grab my eight pound weight this time. All right, we are on round two. 30 seconds on the clock and let's go. Down and up. Hold that arm, keep it nice and steady and have that nice bend in your knees. Full extension. Hold on to it. Keep going. Definitely getting heavier. And press. We're almost there. And one more. Great, drop it. Again, go to lower weight if you need to. We're on round three. Only one more exercise after that. Okay, I might switch out to my five on this one too. We'll see. 30 seconds on the clock. Let's go, down and up. Reach that arm all the way up. How's that upper arm doing? You're keeping it nice and steady. Reach behind. I'm gonna switch out. I can feel myself collapsing a little bit and I don't want to do that. I wanna get that full extension. Keep going. We're almost there. Oh, we're done. Great, we're gonna put this down, grab a drink of water. We're on to the last exercise. We're gonna do curtsy kicks. So I'm gonna come down, bring my right leg behind my left leg. Then I'm gonna kick it up, switch legs. Come down and kick it up. We're not going cardio, so we're gonna go slow. If you don't want to kick it out, you can just come here and sidestep. Come here and sidestep a little bend in your knee. That's your modification. All right, three times around. Last exercise, 30 seconds on the clock. Let's go. I'm going with my right leg, kicking and switching. I'm using my arms to help with the balance. Down, kick. Control that leg as it comes down. So I don't wanna go like this. I wanna control it as it comes down. So here and kick, alternating. Breathing, standing up straight when you come up. Remember that trick? Make believe somebody's pulling you from the top of your head. We're almost there. And one more. Great, two more rounds to go. Step it out. Definitely gonna feel this in your legs. Oh. Second round, ready? We're gonna start on my left leg behind my right. 30 seconds on the clock, let's go. Down, kick, switch. Control that leg. Control it on the descent. That's the hard part. Because it wants to come slam down just like an anchor. If you have ankle weights on, you'll definitely feel the resistance even more. Down, press up. Feeling that on the side of your leg. We're almost there. And one more. Great, we have one more round to go. Hope you've enjoyed this workout. I love weight training. Just concentrating on your weights, concentrating on your muscles. It's a great car, um, workout. If you do wanna do cardio, I have lots of videos out there that just have cardio, so you could tack it on at the end. Last round, let's get it done. 30 seconds on the clock, let's go. So down, kick, control. Use those arms, press. Control that leg as it comes down. Trying to stand up straight, not tilt. Feeling this in my hips and in my glutes. Breathing through it. We're almost there. Great, we are done with the workout. We're gonna go on to stretches. If you need a quick break, a water drink, please go ahead. If not, we're gonna go right into those stretches. So we're gonna stretch back on our right leg first. So I'm gonna press my leg back. Have a, um, my leg is nice and straight, my front leg is bent, and I'm gonna press all my weight into that heel. So my front leg isn't really doing much. Everything's in that heel and just hold that. So you should feel that up the back of your leg. Take a deep breath. Now that we're gonna lift our heel up, 
engage our, um, our calf muscles. We're also working out those, the feet um, have a lot of tendons in there, tend to ignore our feet and press it back down. Switch it around. Press all your weight into the other foot. Feel that in the back of your leg. Stay on nice and tall, shoulders are back, and take a deep breath. All right, let's lift up that heel and come down. Balancing a little bit here. Okay, we're gonna lean to our left. We're gonna stretch out that inner thigh muscle. So I'd love to hear about your, how you felt about this um, workout today, um, how you felt about the balancing and the isolation muscles. Switch to the other side. Thought we'd switch it up a little bit. Feel this right here. Switch one more time to the other side. Hold that. Stretching helps prevent the onset of soreness, so it's so important to stretch after you work out. All right, come on up. If you need a chair, hold on to it or a wall. You're gonna grab your ankle and stretch out that quad. We definitely felt our quads today. And pull on it slightly. Take those deep breaths. And let's switch. Here we are balancing again. All right, let's work out those arms. Bring your right arm across your chest, hook it, and you're gonna pull on that back muscle. All right, now let's stretch out that tri tricep that we just did. We're gonna bring that arm back, just like we did on the triceps, and push it back, and then hold that. And you're gonna feel that nice stretch on your triceps. And breathe. All right, right arm, left arm is across my chest. Let's hook it. And let's bring it up and over, and pull that back slightly. Stretch out that tricep. I want you all to come down, reach towards your toes, have a nice bend in your knees, hang there a little bit, nice flat back. Roll it up and take a deep breath up. And come on down. Thank you so much for coming to work out with me today. I so much appreciate it. Again, I hope you'll visit my website. Look for those ankle weights if you want to, and I have a lot of information on there that might help you with your workouts and nutrition. Subscribe to our channel. We have just had an influx of subscribers, and I am so thankful for that. We want to grow this channel so we can continue to bring videos. Hit that notification bell. You'll be alerted when more videos are posted, and give us a thumbs up. And those comments are so helpful. And I will see you on the next workout.